The first babies born in the new year at Utah Valley Regional Medical Center and at Intermountain Medical Center were both girls. And they have a lot more in common, as Fox 13's Max Roth learned from their proud, surprised, and tired parents. Once you have one, it's like, you think you know what you're doing, but... I'm terrified. <laughs> That's Gentry's mom, Bricky. Gentry was the first baby born in 2015 at Utah Valley Regional Medical Center. And Cambria here was the first at Intermountain Medical Center. But the baby girls share more, like a due date, two weeks away. January 14th. We weren't due till the 14th, so. Each newborn has one sister in for a rude awakening. We've definitely had a great year with our first daughter, so. We'll have a great year with this one. It's a whole new adventure when you take on two of them. Both of their moms have a sense of humor. We were trying to get her before the tax break. <laughs> I'll do my best to explain to her everything that happened and um, how much pain she put me through. <laughs> Each newborn has a voice that will make your day. So she's still kind of little. <laughs> she's going to talk. <laughs> And both little girls have dads who are thrilled and overwhelmed. We've had two girls now, and I think we're done for a while. It's going to be circus out the house, but some of the best memories, so it's, it's a fun time. A happy, healthy start to 2015. In the newsroom, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah. So far as we know, the first baby born in 2015 in Utah was a little boy named Antonio Martinez. His parents, Sierra Bray and Antonio Sr., welcomed him into the world just after 12.30 a.m. at Jordan Valley Medical Center.